What's going on everybody, it's Stas here and in today's video I want to talk about three stocks that I'm personally watching right now, one that I'm actually holding that I'm looking to swing trade heading into the month of August in 2019 and I wanted to do a little update on what I'm personally you know, thinking with these stocks that I'm going to talk about and also a channel announcement about what the channel is going to be like over these next two to three weeks. So without further ado guys, let's just get right into it. I don't have too much time time I want to squeeze in this video for you all so let's get right to it so the S&P right now is actually selling off a bit um, it's down about four dollars at the time that I'm recording this video down about 0.13 percent if we go to the one day one minute you guys can see we actually dumped even further this morning down to about 30.15 and for a very nice reversal we've broken the EMA and the 50 SMA and now we just broke above the 180 SMA on the intraday chart very 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 good sign of a reversal and overall guys we talked about this in Sunday's video let me show you all what I'm watching now and it seems like we've already tested it is that that um 3015 to around 3020 that old resistance that double top I wanted to see if the S&P was going to pull back and test it as a new support and bounce from there and that's exactly what we're doing right now guys so this is a good sign overall that the S&P 500 is continuing its uptrend you guys can see based on that trend line, higher high, you know, higher low here, and uh, really this higher low at 3015 came at a really good bounce spot, old resistance, new support. Now just see what I'm looking to see is, is the S&P going to continue this run, right? Are we going to hit all-time highs again? And really the close of today's session is going to tell us whether or not we're going to maybe pull back a bit more, maybe we'll consolidate, or maybe we'll shoot for those all-time highs in these next couple of days. So keep an eye, you know, on these next four hours in the market, guys. I think a lot's going to shake out. You know, if we end up closing strong, we could end up really breaking all-time highs today. That would be pretty crazy. But I'm thinking, you know, we might pop up, retest this level, maybe pull back, consolidate. But anyway, I'm excited to see what ends up happening. So let's just go to these three stocks very quickly. UNH is the one that I'm currently in. So UNH is one that I'm definitely looking to add more money money in as the month of August really starts and continues, right? So UNH right now overall on the 184 hour chart, you guys can see we've pulled back from 270 to about 248. About a $22 pullback there. We ended up holding this 180 simple moving average that you guys do see here. It's this gold line. And this line has been a support over the past couple of months, as you guys can clearly see. So this pullback, I'm really liking it. I entered in UNH this past Friday. I'm up like not really anything right now at this point, maybe like 0.3% or 0.4%, something like that. But I don't plan on selling this unless we do get rejected by this 50 SMA and start to dump a little bit I might shave off and take profits at that point but I'm not planning on selling this until I see what it's going to do at this 50 SMA if we break it I might add more there and continue the run because at that point I think we can test 260s and maybe even this high at 268 so the 50 SMA is what I'm watching right now but I still feel comfortable buying some shares right around here and I figured I'd share this with you guys maybe if you see value in it if you do your own due diligence and research on it you you can maybe take a look at it um, and take a position. But again, don't do that just because I'm in it, right? You have to do your own research. Definitely do your own research on everything you're buying and selling on the stock market. But again, I figured I'd share with you guys my thoughts. The next one is one that's, you know, still in need of a, a breakout here above this 50 SMA, but I'm really liking the way it's uh, forming up right now. And that one is ticker symbol LOW, Lowe's Companies. And we talked about this one in yesterday's video. What I said I liked about it was that overall the trend was, was still holding an uptrend, right? You guys can clearly see it despite the pullback overall over the past couple of months. We're still holding an overall uptrend. We're holding the 180 SMA as a support. We're forming a bit of a cup here, and now it seems like we're testing that 50 SMA as a resistance. So we need to see, in my opinion, a breakout from here. And from there, we could end up running all the way back up to 108, 108.50 
test that of uh, resistance here and that margin of profit guys is going to be around a three to four percent so lows right now it's looking very attractive if you guys look at the 20 day one hour chart you can clearly see we are breaking the downtrend here on um, the, the hourly chart under the 50 SMA we broke that and now it seems like we're testing and fighting with the 180 SMA ultimately I would need to see a break above this level as well before entering lows but again this is what I'm watching. Do your own DD, guys. Due diligence. Do your own research. Um, don't buy this because I'm buying it, but I really see potential in this one, and I do plan on maybe putting a limit order at maybe 105, riding that out, seeing how that goes, and I'll let you guys know how um, you know that ends up playing out. So LOW. That's another one, and off the top of my head, what the heck was the other stock that I wanted to talk about? I'm forgetting off the top of my head right now. It was Lowe's, um, UNH, and FedEx. That's what it was, guys. FDX. Remember FDX? I was actually in FDX a couple of days ago or last week or whenever that was, and I took a profit on it, and it seems like it's still been descending from that video. And you guys can see, or rather that time that I sold it and made the video about it, right? And you guys can see the down downwards trend or the downwards kind of channel that, that it was in. It seems like it's continuing that if we were to stretch it out a bit. I know it doesn't look perfect, but you guys can uh, see what I'm saying, right? And at this point, I'm glad I sold out. And I said in the previous video that I talked about FedEx that I wanted to see if I could re-enter. And this, in my opinion, is opening up a beautiful opportunity to potentially re-enter. And take a look. If we pull down a 170, guys, we're so close at this point. Maybe even today, we could get an entry point. But if we pull down to 170, 171-ish, you know, ideally more towards 170, at that level, guys, if we zoom out a bit more, notice how that's going to put us on top of old resistances at around 170, and we'll need to test that as a new support. It'll also put us on top of the 50 SMA, which has been a support over these past couple of weeks as FedEx has been forming this little rally, you know, this little bull run that we've been seeing. So this this would be a nice entry point um, right here on top of right around 170 in my opinion or at least a spot to confirm the bounce and then maybe an entry point would be around 170 50 maybe 171 that's what I'm personally watching right now so overall guys these are three stocks that I'm personally looking to swing trade so for a quick channel announcement guys over these next two to three weeks the content's going to be a bit irregular on this channel typically I'm doing daily updates about the stock stock market, earnings, what I'm watching, what I'm doing, you know, stocks in general, you know, investing topics. I have a series on M1 Finance where I'm building portfolios. This is the content that I'm producing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And over these next two, three weeks, I'm actually going to be going to Greece. And fun fact, guys, I don't know if I've never mentioned this on the channel, actually, but fun fact, I'm actually from Greece. You know, I have a bunch of my family that lives there that I actually don't really see often, like my aunts, my uncles. You know, I have a lot. My grandmothers are there. Um, you know, just a bunch of family that I don't really see often. And honestly, guys, I kind of want to be present in the moment with them. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to be trading, guys, because best believe I will be trading. Don't worry about that. I will be trading and I will be active in the Discord group chat if you are active in there. And that is linked down below. But in terms of making these daily update videos, I don't know if I'll be able to make one every single day. But my goal is to get at least two, three updates to you guys out per week to show you and let you in on what I'm personally thinking so I can interact with you all as well in the comments and kind of just update the whole entire community that we have here on YouTube. So that's just a quick announcement, guys. You know, content, expect five, six videos over these next two, three weeks that are planned out, and I'm going to be filling in those days where there's no planned videos, hopefully with trading and market updates to update you all and keep you all in the loop with what I'm doing, what I'm watching, and my personal perspective on the stock market. And again, if you guys want to join that discord group chat where i will be active that's linked down below and we have 800 other members in there that are active members of the strive smart community so all of those are linked down below thanks again for watching guys leave a like on this video if you found value in it consider subscribing if you want to see further content from me i'll catch you all in the next video m1 finance updates coming out tonight check that out have a good one guys peace out